Timothy Hill. Nice jacket. Thank you. Somebody who's wearing brighter colors than me. Uh, did you come in on a scooter? Is that what I saw? I did. I scooted my way here. I took the bus and then scooted the last mile. I noticed that. Nice wheels. Uh, this is somewhat of a homecoming for you. You grew up in this area, and then you went away to college and grad school and so forth, and now you're at North Carolina State University? That's right. Uh, so it's good to be back in the area. Summertime is definitely the best time to be here in Washington State. Absolutely. Your research there and part of what you're coming here to talk about is? Uh, so we work on the intersection of human-computer inter interaction and software engineering. So what that means is how software developers do their jobs. So we educate software developers at North Carolina State, send them out into the world, and uh, hope they, they learned a lot of the, uh, they use a lot of the things that we taught them uh, uh, in their educational setting. Um, but sometimes they don't, so we have to come back to industry <laughs> and uh, find out uh, how they're uh, using what they learned and uh, integrate that back into our curriculum and uh, see if we, what we can do to help them. What? Students not doing what they're told? What do you mean? No. <laughs> so basically you talk to and interview a lot of software developers and see what tools that you can develop to help them do their job better? Yeah, that's right. So Microsoft is a good place where there's lots of, obviously, software developers doing work. And uh, so it's a very open place, too. So when I want to come here and um, I can come in as a visiting researcher and uh, just sort of walk into software developer's office. And if they have uh, a few minutes to talk to me, they can tell me what they're up to, tell me about some of the challenges that they're having. And so it's a good way for me to get a hold of what sort of real problems they're having and what I might be able to do to help them. And you get to spend the whole summer here at home. <laughs> yeah, no problem. It's great. Yeah, really. And you find that they're pretty open these software developers, they're not, um, you know, just giving you a line. They actually are very open with the challenges that they're facing and what they want to see. Oh yeah, they're uh, for the most part, they're, they're quite honest about it. And Microsoft is, uh, is a pretty open place. Um, there typically aren't locks on anybody's doors. And so, um, unlike other companies that are very sort of closed and uh, 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 segregated, um, it's easy for me to sort of talk to, to who I want and, and uh, get, get different perspectives. All right. Great. Great. Thank you so much, Emerson. I hope you enjoy the summer here, too, and enjoy the summit. Thank you. <laughs> Come on down. We have also Dean Mohammed Ali, who yes. is from University College London, and this is your very first time in the Seattle area. Welcome. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure <laughs> to be here. It's a wonderful location, and everyone's really friendly, and uh, a lot of really intelligent people talking about the best technologies on the planet. Kind of intimidating, isn't it? Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. And you got to hear Bill Gates, too. I mean, yeah. how exciting is that? Well, his vision for the future is always astounding, and um, it's going to make impact to everyone that, that comes here. And uh, I'm, I'm especially thrilled and motivated by what he said. Yeah. You are also collaborating with Microsoft on some research projects. Tell us about that. Yes. Um, so at University College London, we are working with Microsoft Research Cambridge and Microsoft Research Redmond. And uh, we've been working with the Touch Develop team, uh, with the Gadgeteer platform, and uh, most notably now we're working on the Lab of Things, which you can now see on uh, lab-of-things.com. And uh, we are looking at constructing uh, new software solutions for analytics, big data processing, and looking and seeing what we can do to support future technologies and devices that interconnect. And you're also doing research on how to teach computer science better, or you know, for education of computer science. Yes, so um, at UCL we have begun rolling out new programs of study where um, our students are constructing apps uh, for industry clients and looking at specific needs uh, with user-centered design processes and focus of usability testing. And the data that we capture from this makes a really big impact to the way in which teaching and learning in computer science can be motivated. Really? So, how, in what way? Like, how do you make teaching better? So it's not just the examination process, but it's also the industry that requires the software and the technologies to get them to come on board and work in alignment with us and to see how it's verified in the deployed scenario. All right. Well, I hope you're enjoying your time here, and I hope you get a chance to see our beautiful area. I, I think I will, and I think um, it's an amazing place to be. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.